everybody. Um, my name is Audra, and I go to Morton State in Kentucky. And um, growing up, I come from like a Baptist family, and we were the top to go to church on Sunday and just sit at the service and rush home for this huge cook dinner and like play football in the backyard. And so from going to church, I knew the story of Jesus and how he came to earth to die for people who lived with their flaws and imperfections, um, and that I needed to strive to be a better person. And around middle school, like I started asking God every day for forgiveness. And I knew that I messed up and I wasn't a perfect person, but for some reason I never accepted in my heart that he died for that. And um, I started high school. Now I still live for myself. Like I was I'm just a rotten person. Like I try to talk my ass up all the time. And my main concern in life was softball. But growing up, like my life was good. I had nothing to complain about. And um, my family loved me. And I knew that, but for some reason their love wasn't enough and I had this void in my heart. But sophomore year came around and through God putting people in my life, I met this guy and we started having feelings for one another and we eventually dated. And he came from a Christian home and his parents are still today devoted to the Lord. And since we were from like neighboring counties, I had to go to church in order to spend time with him. And so I became a regular attender at my home church now. And um, if you were to ask people at that time, like, what kind of person I was, they would agree that, like, yeah, she's a good girl. She's devoted to the Lord, and she has a cross in her heart. But I knew personally, like, I was separated from God. But I was okay with that. Because at that time in my life, I was looking for true love and just acceptance. And I was feeling that and getting that from the relationship I was in. And so I just went on with life that way. But August came around, and one night the preacher was just talking about how, like, in order to accept Christ and be free, like you don't have to have this special event or just like this flashing light that all it takes is for you to know in your mind that Christ died for your flaws and accept it and have faith in that. And you will be His and He is yours. And that's the night I accepted Christ as my rescuer. And so again, life was great. I mean, softball, we were the team to beat and I thought I was in love. And I was a Christian, so what else in life could you ask for? But on down the road, like I got smacked in the face and that source of love was taken away and my heart was broken and I wasn't trusting of people anymore and I was just hurt. And coming from a churchy family, like I didn't know how to let God heal my wounds and love me. So in order to feel that love, I looked to earthly relationships like continuously and over and over again. I was letting myself be hurt and broken and like I was just wounded. But through that, God used that brokenness in my heart to make me realize that Jesus Christ was at that time and is today the true lover of my soul. And I find peace that that He accepts me for me no matter like who I am or like how many mistakes I make and that I can have rest in our relationship because He's never going to leave me. And that's how I came to know the Lord and have Him change my heart.